doing MLB player props here on Price Picks. Before we get started, though, there is a link in the description below to sign up for Price Picks, or you can use code TUFF to sign up. They will match 100% of your first deposit. There is also a Discord link in the description of this video where we're building a strong community. Discord is completely free. And then Patreon link is well, where I post all my bonus plays for each given sport. For example, this video, I'm giving two MLB player props that I like. Patreon, I give around eight player props that I like for MLB. Um, there's I give NFL plays, college football, WNBA, NBA, obviously. So daily posts on Patreon for all sports, all bonus plays. And there's even a Patreon level where I post all the slips that I'm playing each day. So go ahead and check that out. But let's get into it, you guys. Two total player props that I do like here on price picks. Um, I think there's some good value here currently. And actually surprised that a few of these lines have yet to be bumped after I looked at them last night. But yeah, let's get into it. Two total props that I like. Let's go. So the first one I like is Spencer Strider. And I think this is kind of low for him still at seven this may bump to seven and a half maybe even eight i'm surprised it hasn't bumped yet but at seven strikeouts for spencer strider here he is just been a complete animal um really since the all-star break but he is here i mean august 20th right he had nine strikeouts here against houston seven strikeouts against uh, st louis which is you know probably one of the tougher teams to strike out in baseball he had 16 strikeouts here against colorado and then most recently had nine strikeouts against oakland so I mean, we've been targeting Spencer Strider. He's got a game here with 11, 12, 8, okay, 7, 11, 8. So multiple games here plus 7 strikeouts. So we've been targeting him numerous times this season when his strikeout prop seems to have value. Um, I think, in my opinion, he's got to be the favorite to win Rookie of the Year this year. Um, 10 and 4, 183 Ks. I mean, he literally, at 183 Ks, he's 8th in baseball. And he hasn't even been a full-fledged starter all season. I mean, he really didn't really start to become pitch deep in games like become a starter until i mean june 4th really when you think about these pitch counts that he had and these pitch limits now he's a full-fledged starter and uh he really is a great arm in that braves rotation him max reed and kyle wright uh, come playoff time i think it's going to be super valuable for them but spencer strider at seven strikeouts one he's facing the san francisco giants and the giants i mean this is honestly the splits are since august 1st so again we're looking at the last month Giants are sixth in baseball, 24.2% K rate, super high uh, strikeout rate as far as, you know, against righties go. And then just their batting average as a whole, second lowest in baseball, 219. 219 average, sixth highest strikeout percentage, second lowest batting average. And then also just take a look at these project this projected lineup here and the Ks. I mean, there's multiple guys in this lineup that strike out 20 plus percent time. Joey Bart, 35.6, Villar, 35.1, Crawford, 22.1. Peterson 20, uh, Yastrzemski 23, and Wade 22. The only one who doesn't strike out a ton is Flores and Tyro Estrada. So, again, great spire for Spencer Strider. It almost seems like when you watch him pitch or you follow his game on the app or wherever you're following his game, you'll watch. He's got two strikeouts in the, in the second inning, and then, you know, all of a sudden it's the sixth inning, and he's got eight or nine. So, I like this here. I think it's good value at seven still. Honestly, super surprised it's at seven. I like this one against San Francisco over seven. And then the next one is going to be just a guy that just continues to, to rake. It's going to be Mike Trout. And I'm going to take his one and a half DB here more. Uh, you could also take his fantasy score, but just because there's the Cleveland, the Angels bats just as a whole, their lineup's not hitting that well. But Mike Trout, one and a half DB. He has a home run in his last six games. Um, you can see his game log here. He's got a home run one in his last six games, six straight games with a home run, hitting the ball really well. We take a look at his splits. More specifically, over the his last seven days, he's hitting 450. So, I mean, not just hitting home runs. I mean, 450, 1.800 1. OPS, 1.300 slugging percentage. Um, but I like this spot for him here because he is facing a left-handed pitcher tonight. And I think he's facing Pilkington, I believe, Connor Pilkington of the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, Connor Pilkington. And Mike Trout against lefties hits 333, and his hits his hitting stats are up across the board when he faces lefties. 333, 444, slugging is 644, and his OPS 1.089 compared to a 966. So I think it's a great smash spot here for Mike Trout. He hits lefties about, I mean, almost, that's quite a bit higher, like 70 points higher um, than he does righties. And again, this is a player that's hit a home run in his last six games. So on a nice streak here for Mike Trout, taking the over here, one and a half TB for Mike Trout against Connor Pilkington and the Cleveland, Cleveland Guardians. Sorry. So these are the two total player props that I have here on prize picks today. Again, I'm going to give obviously six to seven, eight, maybe eight plays here on Patreon for today's MLB slate. 
Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these props. Again, this is not gambling advice. These are just plays I'm personally looking at making. Drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day.